Hey everyone, it's Anne Marie from Hella Basque, and today I want to talk to you guys about the Basque Country. This is an introductory video about the Basque Country, what it is, where it is, who are the Basque people, and a little bit about what makes this place so special. So if you already know about the Basque Country, this probably isn't the video for you, but if you're looking to learn more, this is a great place to start. So what is the Basque Country? The short and easy answer is that the Basque Country is a region right on the French-Spanish border. The more complicated answer is that the Basque Country is a region with a long history. Basque people have been in this corner of the world for centuries in the Pyrenees Mountains. The Basque Country's seven provinces, three are technically in France, we call it Iparalde, which is the northern Basque Country, made up of the provinces of La Purdi on the coast, Bache Navarre, which is where I'm at right now, and Chiberoa further east, and then Egualde, the southern Basque Country, um, technically the Spanish side, has four provinces, Nafaroa, Biscaya, Guipuscoa, and Araba. Now the thing with Egualde is that it's divided into two different governmental bodies. Spain has autonomous communities. The province of Nafaroa, in Spanish is Navarra, um, they have their own autonomous community. And then there's the Basque autonomous community made up of Biscaya, Guipuscoa, and Araba. So when you hear about the Basque country, you might just think about those three provinces. You might think that's the entire Basque country. It's not. There are seven provinces and the term for the entire Basque country is Eshqual Eria. The Basque people have their own language, Euskera, which is a pre-Indo-European language. It's a language isolate, so it's not related to any other language in the world as far as linguists can tell. The Basque people have their own culture, their own traditions. So Basque people, really, they're not French or Spanish. They're Basque. It's a totally separate thing. Now, why is this important to me? Why do I care? I am one of the millions of people in the Basque diaspora who is of Basque descent but did not grow up in the Basque country. The Basque Country has a very long history of immigration. Even though it's a small place, Basque people have been moving out of this area for centuries for various different reasons. Many people had to leave for political reasons. Throughout different periods in history, the Basque people and the Basque language have been heavily repressed by the different states that they've been under. People have been escaping wars, uh, repression, and just trying to find a way to live their life as Basques as they see fit. You also have people who left this area for economic reasons, like my dad. He was born and raised in the Basque country, but didn't see a lot of economic opportunity here, so he moved to North America to try to find a better life for himself. You know, these family farms would have 10, 11, 12 kids, and the way Basque tradition went was only the oldest child would inherit the farm. So that left everybody else kind of stuck. Either you found your own way, or you spent the rest of your life till your dying breath working the land, for the benefit of your brother or sister. And I don't know about your house, but I don't think that would fly in a lot of families. So the other siblings, some people would join the priesthood, become nuns to have some stability there. People would marry out, try to find somebody who had their own farm, or people would just move entirely. There are a lot of people of Basque descent in South America, but also North America. And even today, you'll find Basque people in Australia, the Philippines, all over the world. Even today, Basque people are still moving out of this region because even though it's beautiful and it's a great place and it is really home, for different reasons people have had to leave. Basque people have survived for centuries in this region as Basque people. They've preserved their language, their culture, their traditions. Despite outside influences from France and Spain and state repression, they have survived. And that kind of survival spirit carries into the diaspora. So you'll find people like me all over the world who may not speak the Basque language, unfortunately, who may have visited the Basque country a few times, maybe not at all, but still have a very strong sense of Basque identity. If you found this video informative or helpful in any way, please like it. And if you're looking to learn more about the Basque country and the Basque people, subscribe to this channel. Hello Basque is bringing you new videos every week. See you. Bye. Love you. <laughs> Stop it. I know, right?